High school seniors missed out on milestone events like prom because of the pandemic, but that was not the case for students in southeast New Mexico. News 13's Corey King found out they tried to get around state restrictions by having their prom in Texas. Now is the time we are all anxiously awaiting. I am honored to have the responsibility of presenting the class of 2020 to the Hobbs Municipal School Board members. This was the scene at the Hobbs graduation that was held on Saturday for the class of 2020. The graduation that was held by the Hobbs High School followed the health order by doing a drive up style graduation. But on Thursday, July 16th, just two days before the graduation, some students from the Hobbs High School attended prom just outside of Seminole, Texas, about 17 miles from Hobbs, that was being thrown for them in Texas because of the current health orders in New Mexico restricting mass gatherings. Many people we spoke with did not want to go on camera, but all agreed they are glad that they held prom for them. I'm glad they had it. They should have had it in the stadium, but, you know, with everything going on, I'm sure they didn't want to get fined like she threatened Logan with, so I'm just glad they had it. A GoFundMe was set up back in June to help raise private funds to hold the prom for the students. Between ticket sales for the prom and the GoFundMe, more than $2,500 was raised to rent the venue and a DJ. The group even hired a company to provide safe COVID-19 practices. We asked parents if they feel it was wrong to hold prom in Texas in direct defiance of the governor's orders. They said no, that Lee County is doing things just right. Lee County needs to keep doing what they're doing and the governor can just deal with it. Corey King, CARIQ News 13. We reached out to the governor's office and the health department to see if they knew about this and to get their thoughts on the out-of-state travel plan days before graduation, despite the travel quarantine requirement. We did not hear back.